we were stunned, we were, we were honored, we were privileged, some goosebumps as we see, uh, as we see some of our boys uh, representing our country in the biggest stage possible. And, and then among those stars that we have in that tournament, uh, someone especially made a name. He was, the, he was the standout star for that FIFA World Cup. And that was none other than Virat Singh. We're very proud of him. So what is Father Mike? And uh, obviously he's not quite from Georgia Ford, but then we felt pride and honor as he represented our country on behalf of us Manipur. And and then and then we have our very own uh Jingren Sana, uh, as, yeah. as son of George Sanford Town, uh, he has he has made us so proud. We have watched him so many times on these TV screens here. Uh, he plays for FC Goa, but then but then we support obviously North East United, but whenever they don't play North East, uh, we support FC Goa. So so we're very proud that he has made it to the highest level in Indian football. So let's welcome Sana. So this evening uh, we'll have a we'll have a short time of interaction with them, and after that we'll we'll open time for uh, the public to interact with them, and then we'll do the big lottery thing. We will have a signed jersey of both the players, which we will give out to one of you this evening, and then after that we will say our goodbyes. So first of all. Uh, Welcome guys for coming. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. So we will first go to Dirac Singh. So uh, yeah, we have our technical guy. So Dirac, uh, we were watching you on TV like that evening. We were so proud of you in that opening night. So. Uh, your experience of the FIFA World Cup. If you can just, if it's possible to sum up in a couple of minutes, but then uh, we'll just ask you straight ahead, straight to your experience of the World Cup. It's a lifetime experience for, for me. I have no word to explain uh, how I felt that moment. It's like, it's really, uh, what do you say, like, nice and a good experience, and it will remain as a lifetime memory for me. So, uh, as, a, as a young boy growing up, did you ever believe that you made it this big? When I was very small, I never thought of being a uh, uh, or uh, like playing for the national team. I never thought of that. But when I started, playing, when I stepped into the football, I believed myself that I can play the national team and play at the highest level. I believed myself that I keep working hard and go just through. Get, get me an opportunity for myself, and uh, uh, that was a turning point for me. Uh, and uh, I credit the lifetime to express myself. So, uh, when did you start uh, pursuing goal goalkeeping? Like I say, young boy, no one actually wants to be the keeper. So, when did you start goalkeeping? I don't know when you guys know, but I studied in JBC school, like. But I was very, you know, interested in playing football. When I went to went to JNP, like uh, there was only one uh, playground where uh, I didn't get much opportunity to play because uh, most of the senior players occupy the ground. So uh, I played uh, almost every game. Like I, I, I am very good in badminton and double tennis. Um, I got a winter vacation for a month. And I, yeah, even though when I went for a vacation, I did a uh, training session in MOFA, all, all when I was a police session, every, every, every morning, Sunday morning. And when I was in the field, like, I loved diving, catching, and even when I started playing football, I didn't use goalkeeper as my position. I like scoring goals, hitting, but I was uh, very lazy to run, and I was not very fast. And I decided to go for uh, goalkeeper. One day, the coach came very late, and I was uh, on the ground, and I was just doing some. This was in Amofa. Sorry, it was yeah, it, it was in Amofa. Uh, the coach came a bit uh, late, and I was running, and I asked my friend to just hit, and I was just getting like, so many from five seconds. And asked me whether you want to be a goalkeeper, and, and I, I have to say, why not? I was like, 
I never got selected. And my friend Rahul here, we know that uh, I went through rejections, going one month trials, I'm getting rejected in the final day. They select 25 boys and I'm not there like this. You know, one month of getting up at 3.30 in the morning, catching a fast train to Churchgate, attending the trials every day. And on the final day, they reject me because I'm not from the state. I'm from Manipur. And uh, that's how they used to, you know, give an, uh, give an excuse to reject me. But I was good enough, so there's no stopping me, right? Then eventually I went and got selected for Mahindra under 15 and then Ayurveda under 15 in the year. Then I moved on to Tata Football Academy. That's when my life changed. But be before I reached Tata Football Academy, the hardship I had to face with my own brother, you know, who is now so happy at where I am in my life and who wants to see me succeed more. I had one pair of football boots, guys, trust me. I had one pair of football boots that was gifted to me by a coach. He cut that boots down cut it down so I cannot play football. And I was so adamant that I went, I went to the pop I cried. I cried so much as if somebody had died, you know. And I cried so much that God blessed me. I'll tell you that story as well. I'll come, I'll continue. So, I stitched the boot up and I played with it. I was so adamant. I would not give up. And I had the school shoes, that is the PT shoes, the white shoes. I used to play with it in the mud. I don't care if it gets spoiled or not. I used to play with it because I love the game. So yeah, that's how I had to go through. And, um, Eventually, I got selected for Tata Football Academy. That's when my life changed. So I did join. 2012, yes. That's when I got inducted in the Tata Football Academy. I was very proud to get selected. But then I know that this is a platform where I need to work so hard to get to a professional club and to play for India. As God's plan, you know, I never got selected for Maharashtra. I never got to play for India team for Maharashtra. But I got selected for TFA. And TFA is the best academy in India at that time. Even now, one of the best academy, you would agree with us, right? So, yeah. Then, the national team coach, Colin Tall, at that time, the India under 19 coach came to the top of the to score players. And Utanta was already there in the team, and he scored me one training session in the morning. He saw me, he said, uh, What's your name, boy, young man? And I said, I'm Timmy and Sanan. And he asked me my dad about I said, My dad about that. I met him in the office, I was shivering, you know, because all those last two years I've been struggling in Mumbai when I was to play for Indian team, it was becoming a reality. So I was shivering, I could not even eat breakfast after training. I was so excited because he asked my name and he wants to see me in the office. I met him. I went for trials in Goa for six months, was selected, went to, went to China. My dreams actually came true. And what's written on my inventory was Komsom, my surname, with my brother who is it proudly, the one who got my boots, you know. So that's like... Good thing happens if you believe in yourself. Then, another good thing is that after getting the for TFA, then I went on to Silong Bazaar. Before that, I, when I came to the Indian team, I was sponsored by Puma. When I, one time I had no boots wear, now I get free boots. Latest boots, top grade, expensive boots, as well as clothes from Puma for two years. And now I'm sponsored with Adidas for another three years. So this is a pure, pure blessing from God. And I do believe in this because once I cried for the boots and today I'm blessed to be sponsored by Adidas. So that is a journey, that is a life if you believe in yourself and if you believe in your ability. And today where I am is because of my belief. Yes, hard work. The hard work is amazing. So, uh, so I'll ask this question to both of you. Uh, Hard work is hard work enough. You have to be gifted naturally. Is hard work enough? I would say just not a hard work. Discipline, discipline, discipline is the one that is the main thing. Discipline is absolute. You should know. You should know how to maintain yourself, sleep and diet, eat good food, uh, how to you know prepare yourself for the big team, the training. Discipline is the most important. Hard work and dedication. Yeah, I agree with 100% because uh, without discipline, not only in football, not only in sports, even in education, in life itself, without discipline, without self discipline, that is not discipline by your parents or your brother or anyone, but self discipline towards your dream, towards your goal, is most important. So the point being, even if you are gifted, even if you have the passion, if you're not disciplined, there's no way you'll succeed. Is that the Point it, it might run for a certain period of time, a period of time, but I think it will last for a long time. Yeah, that's a good point. So, Diraj, uh, I'll just come back to you. Uh, after the World Cup success, I guess India did 
go far, uh, we didn't go through to the next stage from the trip stage. But then you obviously made a name. You were the you were the standout star for the world. That that we all know. So after that, uh, we realized we had a we had a stint uh, trial in the UK with with the Scottish side. So your experience in the UK and and why didn't you uh, why didn't you continue in the UK? Why did you come back and your experiences after the World Cup? Um, I won't call it as a success during the World Cup. Like we we played three matches and we lost all the three matches. We, got, we can't call it as a success. But from a personal point of view, you made a name for yourself. All the coaches were impressed with you. We even heard rumors that uh, top European clubs were impressed with your know, team from Manipur. We read articles, we read news. So from a personal point of view, it was a success. But from a team point of view, obviously it was not a success. I'm glad you were acknowledging that. Very humble of you to do that. But then your life obviously changed from that World Cup. So your life immediately after the World Cup. So what was, what was it like traveling to the UK, doing trials and training with the, your players from Europe? What was the what is the main difference between uh, Indian football and European football? Uh, World Cup was a big platform for me to explore myself, and like I, I got a lot of confidence like uh, during the World Cup, although we uh, lost my match. But one thing uh, I gained is confidence, and I got an opportunity to go out. So we'll just stay focused on uh, 
foreign flavors, foreign to foreign. So, so the experience is wrong. Yeah. Yeah. The professional footballers playing in India now, the Indian players that we are, we know that you know that is the most important thing. I mean, it's not just about training. It's not just about uh, working hard. You know, it's just in the It's about what you eat as well. And the local players here in Manipur, I would want them to also know that, that what they eat after training and what they eat before training, how they sleep, that's most important. No matter how hard you work, you know, without a proper nutrition, I mean, a car can't run without a food, right? So your body is the best food. So whatever you put in your body will give you energy to do the training you have to play a match well. So that is the most important. And of course, alcohol, smoking, all this thing doesn't help at all. If you have a professional player, you need to make sure you're and for your own good, right? So there's some little things that I wanted. There's so many times you agree with me, Michael will agree with me about the talent that we have in the district. You know? And I would want them to grow. I would love to see another uh, new player or another player play in the ISL and uh, doing well and bringing a lot of names to the district and also the integration as well. So that's what I would want to tell them that diet and discipline, self discipline is very important. So we'll, we'll touch two more points. Uh, we'll obviously talk about uh, uh, ISL and after we'll talk about uh, Indian football uh, as an in international team and then we'll, we'll conclude this short conversation. So ISL, we've heard good rumors that Diraj is moving to the big athletic group in Calcutta, ATK. So Diraj, uh, would you like to make any official announcement this evening where you'll be playing next season in the ISL? Sorry, the terms are going on. I can't just. Uh, I mean, it's, 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 it's not a rumor anymore. <laughs> so, I guess. so, anyways, so Sana, how about Sana? Like, I, I know Sana is very smart in answering this question. So, like, where will we see you and Sana next year? Where do you guys want to see me? Not uh, this? I would love to, but uh, I'm a contracted player with FC Goa. And, yeah. That, that's what it is at the moment, uh, but uh, I don't know what will happen. So whatever will happen for me, what my agent will decide what the best way forward for me, that will be my destination, but I'm preparing myself for the season ahead. It will be a good, good season, trust me on this. Wonderful. Thank you for that. So, uh, we'll, we'll close this answer. Let's turn around to see the teenager. We don't want him to get into any fun. Controversy. Uh, he he, he, he's already 18, I think. So he, he's not right. He's just turned 19. He's just turned 19. He's, he's an adult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. July 4th, I think. So he just celebrated his birthday. So happy birthday, brother. So, uh, so Salat, no, no, no. This is, yeah, this is rather. Uh, this is a subject like I would discuss with sometimes with people. Uh, the current state of the football. Yeah, uh, right. It's a, it's a bit difficult, it's a, it's a difficult subject which I definitely want to discuss. But then I won't let you answer this. But then, uh, for example, uh, the IFF has uh, awarded the premier uh, league of the country as an ISL. And then because of ISL, I is, is really suffering. So, like, what would be in your opinion is the solution to be the right now? Is it? Which should be the legitimate uh, Which should the AFC be registered the ISL or the for the
So anyways, thank you so much uh, guys for showing up this evening. Uh, after this we'll, we'll have some, a few time, we'll open time for uh, some interactions, questions. And then after that, uh, we'll call it. So, so uh, maybe perhaps, yeah, 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 oh, we, we have the lottery system. Should we do it now, Michael? Yeah, yeah. Why not? We'll, we'll ask, we'll invite Michael to come out. There's, a, there's an opportunity for us to get signed jerseys. So, first, uh, we'll give out the signed jersey. We'll let him take a closer to that.
three more minutes, five, ten minutes max. So if anyone wants to take picture or any questions or any interaction, we'll have a few more minutes. And after that, we'll close the cafe. Maximum five, ten minutes. And then we'll close the cafe. So the time is open for the public. We'll close the, we'll, we'll close the interview. We'll, we'll shut the camera off. Now we'll just put a first dance. Okay. Thank you so much, Sir Rajan.